Hello and welcome back to Feed the Beast Tutorials, your one-stop guide in learning how to feed the beast. My name is Gary and Raver. This time I'm showing you something for the Portal Gun mod. This is editing Portal Gun config files. First you need to find the config file, which is located in the folder of the mod pack you're using. In my case it's Mindcrack, however this is saved in a custom location. When you're in the folder of the mod pack, you then go into Minecraft and config and here you scroll all the way down until you find portal gun cfg file you need to then make sure that this opens using notepad or some other comparable program and it brings up this all of the customizable features of the portal gun mod are available in this file note however that this is only for the client side so this may not affect things on servers First of all, you have chest loot options, and these affect the probability of finding these items in chests. Here you can set whether enderpearl dust, emancipation grills, portal guns and portal spawners can be found at all in chests, as well as which chests they can appear, and their probability from 1 to 100. So as you can see there is a 10% chance of getting enderpearl dust, but only a 2% chance of portal guns. Next, you can alter the colours of portal guns, but you can only alter the bacon and potato guns. These colours are hex colour codes, or HTML colours. And here is a colour chart that I shall link in the description. You replace these codes with the ones you want, as corresponds to the gun and portal. So here, portal 1 and 2 is the left and right click for the gun. In this case I have changed the potato gun colours to blue and gold. However, if you want these colours to take effect, you must change this number from 0 to 1, meaning yes. Otherwise it will just ignore this data. Note that if you change the default codes to yes, both portals shall be white, as that code corresponds to white. Next you have a few options like enabling mod sounds, such as sounds when you equip the portal gun, as well as the 3D model used in the portal gun and where the turret lasers are visible. Here you can affect the key bindings used in the mod, such as those for picking things up, which is by default G, resetting portals, which is by default R, shooting left and right portals, which is left and right mouse button, and zooming in on the camera, which is control. The numbers used for these are based on the Minecraft key codes available on the Minecraft wiki, as you can see here, where they are all given their individual numbers. This page will also be linked in the description. There are also additional settings for the mod, such as whether certain parts are enabled, altering item IDs, and whether you can macerate enderpearls. My advice is be careful when altering this document, and always keep a backup. When you're done, Save it, and boot up the correct mod pack, and as you can see, custom colours are now implemented. Thank you for watching, if you have any requests please send me a YouTube comment and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Also if you have any requests not to do with Minecraft, please let me know. Catch you later.